How y'all doing? <laughs> my name is Ace. This is my beautiful wife, Sheila. Uh, and welcome to Couch Conversations. Uh, today, we are talking about fighting fair mm -hmm. with these lovely couples here. Yes. So let the people know who you are. Uh -huh. I'm Sybil Amuti, and this is That's my it. husband. I'm Kwaku Amuti. Uh, we've been married for 17 years. Wow. Yes. We've been together for 20. We have two beautiful kids, 14 and 11. Yes. Mm -hmm. And these are our friends from almost 20 years now. Yes. I was in wow. their wedding and everything. Yes. I went up to her in New York City, and I said, we're going to be friends. Really? So let's just exchange numbers. Yes. Yeah. She, yeah. 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 she actually planned our engagement party. Yeah. Hey, girl, yeah. hey. Yeah. <laughs> so my name is Heather Lindsay, and we have three beautiful children. And yeah, my name is Cornelius Lindsay. Um, yep. <laughs> That's my big daddy. Uh, I, love yeah. I love that. Yeah. Fighting Fair, and I really feel like um, I'm going to be learning from everybody here because mm -hmm. Fighting Fair is not something that came naturally to me. I did not grow up with modeling Fighting Fair, so I'm also very independent. You know, I'm very driven, so I feel like, just I felt like for many years I was fighting for my life all the time. Girl. That I brought that into my marriage, yeah. mm -hmm. and it really brought up, like, it really caused a disconnect between us because it made us feel like we're fighting against each other as mm -hmm. opposed to fighting against whatever the issue is. Mm -hmm. And so I've really had to learn, like, there are just certain things I don't say anymore to him and to myself, because if I'm saying it to him, most likely I talk to myself like that too. Mm -hmm. So I really just mm -hmm. had to address, yeah. like, there's certain places we just no low blows, right? Uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. below the belt anymore. Yeah. Most when, of the time. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, hold up. Look, look, look. When, when the ego's flaring, man, it's like yeah. you can yeah, really go to happens. a place to where it's yeah. like, like, like she said, she's no longer, we're no longer attacking the problem. It's like we really attacking each other's character. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I think That's like real. that right there can get really, really messy in terms of communication. And then, you know, it comes with that, like resent, you know, resentfulness and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, that's just for sure areas and lines that we just decided that we did not want to cross and not gonna cross. At all. Uh, so with that being said, with you guys, what does that like, how did that fighting fair for you guys, like that dynamic, how did you find a healthy way to <laughs> fight fair? What was that like? A lot of trial and error. That told me how I need to know. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of trial and error. On the job training. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's funny because you find out that you know, you think you're good and you think that you can do certain things when you're single, mm -hmm. but the real testing ground is when you do get married. Right. Because like walking into being married, we've been married for 17 years, we've been together for 20. Mm -hmm. I thought I had everything together mm -mm. before we got together. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought like, like everything was together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, I, until we started having like, so, so how we say it, how I think about it is, I had my own reality she had her own right. reality. Mm -hmm. And when we got together, we had to kind of mix ours and figure out what our new reality is together. Yeah. But like in, in arguing, we didn't really have any, we had, no? Lies. But yeah, it is lies, <laughs> it is lies. I broke up with her three Wait, times. Wait, what's lies? What's that lies? we didn't have any real arguments. Uh, uh, I'm like, we had them early, we had them early. Yeah. Wait, y'all yeah, broke up three times? Early. Three he times? broke up three times dating. I, I, yeah, I broke and up. I broke up with you three times. He, he oh, dumped wow. me. He dumped me <gasps> well, I, three I, I times. Just, That's how I like to say it. He dumped me I three did. times. The fact I that did. you took him back. I, yes. I took right? It. Am That's I a, not the best Samaritan here on this sofa? <laughs> That's one way to put it. You are waiting, queen. <laughs> I, I need to. I need to hear the I details. I saved him from what, the streets. What? what, what? <laughs> yeah, you saved me from, you I saved him from the streets. I saved him from the streets. I saved him from the streets. The streets were calling. But what happened? Well, from my perspective. I, I came into the relationship wanting to date and get to know and have fun. We lived in New York, we we're single, and I thought, okay, we're gonna date, we're gonna have fun. So I was looking forward to having like a lot of fun, right. a very lighthearted relationship. Mm. I, I've been wanting to be married since I was in the seventh grade. He was very yeah. much Dang. a relationship oh. guy. Dang. And so the, our pace was different. Mm -hmm. Like he, he was definitely more, I think you were more like emotionally vested. Oh, I was and, really emotional. I right. was the emotional one. Like I was hard on my sleeve, like, we're gonna do this together, we're gonna grow together. And she was like, you cool, you all right, you cool. I just hadn't, I had never seen it. 
I had never had a relationship, right? You always go back to your prior relationships. Mm -hmm. I had never had a relationship where a guy was so forward with his emotions mm. and like transparent. I was used to people, you know, ducking and, du and ducking it. What, yeah, what your yeah. parents say, shucking and jiving? Yeah. 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 Playing like games. That, playing right. Games. Yeah. So he was Usually you have to go fishing for them. Like, yeah. what is it? No like, games. there were no games. games. And I was like, when is this going to crash? Really? But when he would break up, it was because he felt like I was not as emotionally vested. And he was right. I was mm -hmm. not as, we weren't on the same frequency emotionally. And yeah. so yeah. I just felt like, well, you know what? Maybe we're not meant to be if I cannot be me and be with you. And mm -hmm. then the third breakup, because <laughs> okay, he would R break up I did, and not I did, leave. I did R&B breakups. Yeah, he was, so yeah. What's it was never like It Wait, was never like, I'm out and I walk out the door. <laughs> it was like, I'm out and then I'm gonna sit on the bed for a while. And just like, you would call Thomas. He would call Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what is this Carl Thomas? Yeah, I'm out. Right. Where's the ring? Shoot the ring. She wasn't in the video, though. She wasn't with the video. Oh, I was all the way there. And I was like, what is this scene? And I didn't understand it. And by the third breakup, he told me I needed professional help. Oh, hell no. You definitely ain't my guy. Me, I need help. We all need Wait, help. Wait, so what was the third? <laughs> what was the conversation like? It's the third breakup. How do you get back here? Oh no, the third breakup was foul. It, it was, was just it, the third breakup was was a mounting of him wanting more, mm -hmm. and I think in our communication style, I'm very direct, and he's a very indirect communicator. Safe to say, at that That's time. Kind of so Maybe. he wanted more, but he wouldn't say it. <laughs> mm. And I'm like, what do you want? And he couldn't say it. Oh he my would gosh, just that happened show it. all the time mm. with us. And mm. the translation, I was missing it. I'm like, I'm here, mm. like presence, quality time, you know, uh, uh, quality time. I'm, I'm giving you like what I thought was value, quality time. I'm with you. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm more like, what? It, what it, you were more, um, I was like words, words of, affirmation. of affirmation. Like I need to know. I need to know he we wanted, cool. You having a good time? Yeah. You know, just being I relate there. To and that. I was like, can't yeah. you feel my pres my presence mm. equals work in my in no. my mind? And so it was just not emoting for him. And so he wrote me this long, you need to seek help. This is over. Oh, he and wrote it. He wrote it. Oh, yeah, I wrote, he wrote it. wrote along and he waited Dang. until I was unavailable oh, to read it because this was back when AOL was a dial up and you had to like Mm -hmm. Oh wow! You didn't go online. That, you didn't have access. Yeah. Kids will never know. And yeah. kids will never know. Never and know I went struggle. online, and by the time I went online, he had left my things that I had at his house. Oh, and he was done. Oh, he was done. Done. Was done. I was done. He was done. Oh, he was done. done. And I wrote him a nasty one back, like, "Yeah, okay, watch this." And oh, so it was wild. I, it, it was, was wild. volatile. It, it took a lot to get back here. So that, yeah, that was. I think that was our biggest, like really, really big hurdle at that moment. But then, you know, we had to, a after that, I knew I was wrong when I was doing what I was doing. Like when I had walked her, I literally, cause back in the day, I had to take the train all the way down to her house with her stuff to leave it on her doorstep, take the train all the way back and then let her know and I did it. And then send the email. So it was Scandalous, wrong, yeah, right? It was like, <laughs> He put it in email. He uh, was serious, he was honey. Serious. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. but after but after I read her email back. Did you hit her with the as per our previous conversation? <laughs> I might have. I might have BCC'd we will no a couple people on this. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, the audacity of you, mm -hmm. the nerve. I, so then mm -hmm. I emote, right? It took it took somebody it took saying something that. rude yeah. and cruel to me for me to be like, oh, you're going to catch all this emotion when I could have given it all along, right? Mm -hmm. But it was probably in my wiring to That's be good. reactive mm -hmm. instead of being proactive. If I had been more loving and affirming up front, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have had that combative like war of words that yeah. we had. Yeah. So yeah. I think we learned from that third breakup okay, wait, we're either gonna fight for something we both want or we're gonna continue to have this friction right. that is yeah. gonna put us nowhere. Right. You How know? did it, what was it, so what changed the pattern? Like, I, you know, I, like you agree, you, you got to that um, determination, okay, we need to fight fair, yeah. but like, how? Like, how did you get from yeah. like, what happened to all the hurt and the rejection and the pain? I'm sure that both of you experienced, like, what did you do with that? Like yeah. when you came back together? I, I think that during that time, and, and I like to say it from myself during that time when I was doing those breakups or dumping her, <laughs> I was dumping parts of me too, because there were insecurities in me and there were parts of me that were unresolved from being a kid or old relationships and all that, because we bring so much of that stuff into our current situations. Mm -hmm. So by, the, by that third time, I was tired. I was done mm. because it was, I was looking at her and I was like, I want you, I just don't want you like this. Mm. I don't want what we've got going on this because from my side of it being the emotional one, it was like, 
yeah, you were there, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel your presence while you were there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was like I was with a body. It's just, but I, but I knew there was so much more. So that was, so by the third time I was just, I was exhausted. I was <laughs> yeah. exhausted. Mm. You do get to a point where you're fighting, you're just yeah. like, you're tired. Yeah, yeah. And I think mm -hmm. we were both exhausted. And I think, um, and I think it's also very important to note that I had gone through sexual assault prior to dating him, right? Mm. And so coming into a fresh relationship where I'm like, this actually might be a real relationship. This might not be mm. drama, chaos, all the, all the things I had had historically. So when I told him that, very in, early in, I knew that mm -hmm. I was like, he is emotionally vested in knowing me better. I think I should very let true. him know that I've been through a trauma that mm. may affect the way I show up. And I literally sat him down. I was like, listen, I've been through this sexual assault. I don't know how this is going to show up, but it might. Come to find out retrospectively, I was very much roboting because I was mm. gating him outside. I was like, let me just make sure I'm safe before I start to love him tenderly. Mm. And I think if after that third breakup and there was a series of like, friends trying to, you guys should meet up, blah, 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 you know, get back together. And I was like, no, never. And he was like, no, never. But I he, wasn't like, no, never. I was like, me, <laughs> set it up. Oh, I thought he was no, never. He wrote me a, <laughs> another email that said, oh, what I say in this, this was a good oh, one. As this mentioned one. in oh, previous. Lord. Mending email. Following up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For my last nasty message. No, he said something like, um, while I was pointing a finger at you, four were pointing back, back at, at me. me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, he sees that he... Uh, he ate with that line. That's the line. He let, And that for right. me right was there. like, okay, he understands. He's he taking responsibility. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can That's work it. with that. Mm -hmm. And after that breakup, that was the beginning of us being more tender towards one another. Mm -hmm. Was really like paying attention, being more considerate, yeah. realizing that he had him, I had me, but we had a something. Mm -hmm. And that something oh. was worthy of its own definition that didn't come with like all the stuff that we bring sometimes. Like we had to really define what this something was gonna be, this relationship. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. didn't know, we, we didn't know, we, everyone has a history, right? You have all these mm -hmm. things, you think you have a blueprint, you think you're the best candidate, and then you meet your match and you're like, okay, <laughs> okay I right. still got a lot of work to do. But that something was the thing. We're like, yeah. what can this relationship be and how can we give it a really fair chance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we've mm -hmm. been fighting to give our relationship a fair chance from then forward, literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The relationship, the marriage, like that gets a fair chance. Sybil's whole separate drama girl, drama boy, right? But the relationship, we're like, <laughs> we got to make sure we give this a fair chance. Mm -hmm. We ultimately decided, I think from there forward, that we were fighting for our relationship, mm -hmm. that it would be a special, like an oasis for us. Mm -hmm. It wasn't gonna be perfect, we knew we were gonna make mistakes, but we would be fighting for the relationship versus yeah. fighting against one another in, at war inside of the relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's been now, I would say 18 years of that. 18 years if of that. If you subtract yeah. the three years you were dumping me, it was like. Mm -hmm. the th our three years of development. <laughs> th our development years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking about fighting fair, I yeah. also want to, you had a question? Go ahead. No, no, I, I was thinking in my mind that uh, that's such a, a great point because sometimes when we meet in relationships, we don't always think that uh, it's, it's us separately, but it's also like this third entity in our relationship mm -hmm. that we have to nourish and like mm -hmm. give light and like, you know. But another question that I had for you was, uh, I noticed that you sent emails. Was it tough for you to communicate mm. verbally what you were feeling for her? 150%. That's, That's a good question. 150%, because even though I considered myself, you know what I mean, highly emotionally involved, it was still, as a man, it's tough to say, mm -hmm. I want you to do this. I want this. This makes me feel this mm -hmm. and it was so it was way easier to write it in email i'm glad you caught that yeah because yeah. i resonate with that that same way because i felt like even within our relationship that i couldn't always be honest you know because yeah. mm -hmm. again she would have her emotional experience so I, I felt like i couldn't ask for what it was that i wanted yeah. because i felt like her experience was so large you know what i'm saying and that mm -hmm. i couldn't insert it that you know because i had an idea of what i thought mm -hmm. marriage would be you know mm -hmm. it's be the serious mm -hmm. thing you got to show up like this <laughs> before you learn that like nah it's it's like what you make it and what you would want it to look like yeah. you know what i'm saying uh so that's and that's, I, I feel yeah. like one one thing too that came clear with us is that it's not that you it's not that I'm having a reaction only and then it makes you feel some type of way. It's that you are trying to manage to yes. my reaction. Mm -hmm. yes. And it goes back to what we were saying earlier. We were talking about it is that it's okay not to be okay. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And so meaning there are moments where it's like, okay, maybe my wife, she's just not feeling it today and I'm just gonna mm -hmm. let that. I don't need to fix it. And you need to, you know, like yeah. how, you know, with kids, get your act together, stop crying. Yeah. You know, we do that to Fake each other it. in Be relationships. Happy, smile. Yeah, yeah, what, what? Yeah. As opposed to letting them, like, yeah. have an experience. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. And you come back, you ready to talk now? You uh -huh. know, like, uh -huh. yeah. and so yeah. that, that's that, really good. Thank you for bringing that up. because I mean, You know what's funny, that. though? I was just thinking, I'm a lot like the guys. I would send him a text message mm -hmm. about what I'm struggling with versus communicating mm -hmm. it to him directly. And what and, and it would drive him, it drives him up. What makes you go now. to that? What uh -huh. makes because you... it takes me longer to process, and he is like fast, like he's uh -huh. ready to go. Want to talk. He wants to talk to me. Yes. That's, that's me. Her. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> See? Let's yeah. go. We in it. You send so, me a text, like we all that. in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> because it takes me longer to process how I'm really feeling and what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Because growing up, my parents didn't fight in front of us. I never mm. saw them, never saw me a fight. Either. No arguments, no conflict. So I have this fantasy when I get married to him that we're supposed to live this perfect world. Mm -hmm. So when there's conflict, that means rejection, abandonment, mm -hmm. due to my childhood trauma from mm -hmm. being adopted. But I look at it like, oh, this is a problem. Like, mm -hmm. so I would rather text how I'm feeling to him mm -hmm. than actually communicate because he'll come in and he'd be like, la, 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 and I'd be like, all right, now I need to go process everything that uh, you just me. said. Yeah, I'll come me. back I'll next come back. week and we can discuss it. And he's like, no, no we gonna like, talk about it right that now. That so yeah. frustrating to me. No. So frustrating. wait, do you feel like it's, you're trying to avoid the conflict or is it that you writing is, you're, you're able to get your thoughts out better? Well, I'm processing it. And the thing is when he forces a conversation, he gets a side of me he don't want. She uh, says then, something, she says something yeah. that's, right. that's like he, really disrespectful. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then he blows up. Pull your words. Pull your words. And then I'm like, don't force me to communicate and you gonna get, you gonna get the answers that you think you want, but that's uh -huh. not what you want. I used that's, to be like that. Because in my mind used to be like, Sheila, do it right now. <laughs> yeah. If you don't talk about this right now, you never gonna talk about it. Like, yeah. it'll go under the rug and then it'll build. And then we'll have resentment. I'm like, Twan, I need to talk now. And it's like, then you is stonewall. You're not getting yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like, I'll yeah. run. But, I'll I, run. but I think the thing that's helped us now is we go for root issues. We do. Yes. Cause like, okay, so we, yeah. we just we just had a disagreement, what, a couple days ago. Yeah, we did. And she hit me with hit me with a text. I did. So I walked you text in the house. Him. I text him. She texts me. The nerve. She texts me. <laughs> oh, I text him. So I, I walked in the house and I was like, yo, you know, she's just like, you no, checked your text? I was like, did text? you check your text? And I'm like, and no, I didn't like, check it. He walked in all happy and like good. And I checked my text and I was like, yo, what is this? And she's like, well, this is how I was feeling, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hold up. Like, you know, we got to talk about this. Let's yeah. wait until I come into the house. I was like, no, that was it. The text, just read the text. And I was like, no, let, like, let's come, let's come into the house. But then, then during the conversation, it was like, hold on. What is the real issue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. this ain't the issue. Like, yeah. what you talking about ain't the issue. And she's just like, you're right. No, no, uh-uh, right. don't. I I'll go ahead. I can, I can respond to that. <laughs> oh, I'll respond. Oh, <laughs> but he, he asked, we're, we're late in the dark, and he's like, okay, what's the root issue? We got to I, I can't. I can't go to bed he's on like, this. We, he's like, I right. can't go to sleep I mad at you. Him. He was like, I need you to be vulnerable with me. And I'm like, okay. And I had to remind myself, okay, this is a safe place. I can be honest. I can be vulnerable with him. I don't have to shut down and yeah. be quiet. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Um, I have been waking up at 3 a.m. every morning. I don't know what's been going on. I've been exhausted. I'm working nonstop. Like, the kids are pulling on me 24-7. The issue wasn't even him. It was mm -hmm. her. It was, mm -hmm. it was my lack of sleep. And so now I'm showing up to my marriage looking, like, frustrated mm -hmm. at stupid things that I don't even care about, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so he was like, Bam, that's the root, babe. That's it. Yeah. Don't send me no more text messages. Like, you know, I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, you know, like, and I told her, I said, yo, you, you take on too much. Yeah. But we've he talked does. about that our whole marriage. Our whole marriage. She takes on everything. Survival she wants the kids yeah. to be happy. I want, she wants everybody, I want to, be everybody happy. to be happy. If the kids come to her like, I want to play, she wants to make sure they don't have trauma from them, from her telling them no. <laughs> oh, but me, right. I'm like, yo, go play by yourself. You'll <laughs> yeah. be all right. We'll get you a counselor <laughs> yeah. when you get older. Like, you'll, you'll be okay. I'm tired. Like, you know? I but can't tell them I'm tired. She oh, she she has she takes on a lot. I struggle with that. Yeah, I, I mean, being that. adopted, it's just like, I, I was growing up and I used to be jealous of other families that mm. I considered normal, mm -hmm. right? I'm growing up with like 24 sisters and brothers and I'm adopted and I see other people in other families and I was, I remember being little being like, I can't wait till I get older and I have my own kids and they mm -hmm. all look like me and my husband mm -hmm. and everybody's gonna be so happy and it's this fantasy that you fantasy. have. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I had to deal with that fantasy spirit. Like I still have to deal with that and being mm -hmm. like, okay, the reality 
is, girl, you are worn out and you're burnt out and you're trying to give it's your okay. all to everybody. Yeah. And he's, he's the only one that reminds me, babe, chill. Mm -hmm. That's, a, I that's it. Say, right. I, I, I say right. chill like every day. He I'm like, yo. Chill every day. I had I'm no like, chill. chill. Uh, she be in the car like, I didn't do this, I didn't do this. I'm like, yo. Yeah. Chill. Like, it ain't that deep. Like, He's like, you need a vacation. And I'm like, I gotta work on vacation. And he's like, no. No, you need just to chill. chill. Like, just, just. You know, you could plan a little vacation for her. She don't have she to. She has know. one coming up. Saturday. She, she's okay. got oh, she good. Say she yeah. Yeah. I'm going she, to she Miami on going Saturday. I'm but, see, but see, like, stuff like that, I have to push her to do it. Like, me, yeah. I have my I have yeah. my retreats once yeah. a quarter. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So I'm, I'm go. going on a, on a men's yeah. retreat. I was just in Wyoming retreating with a couple of guys, going to my. Like, I do I do a men's retreat once a quarter. Like, that that that's on the books. So I'm pushing her like, yo, you gotta go. Me. Like you mm. need to take breaks. You need, so. you need friends. You need people outside of yeah. me and the kids. Like go out. Try to be tired. Do Otherwise your own thing and order all your own vegan food so I can eat the meat that I love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is oh what it God. is. Yeah. But I think dealing with those root issues. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm. and that's what I'm always coming back to her on. It's like, mm -hmm. babe, I, 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 I know you're trying to get it up here, but let me help you talk this out. Mm -hmm. That's his number one question. He's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. That ain't it. This is only mm -hmm. a symptom of a deeper rooted yes. issue. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Let's issue. Let's talk about the root. Yeah. Let's get to it. We're not yeah. leaving this room till we get to it. And I appreciate that. It's like my head is my leader, is my husband, yeah. that he brings it all back. And I'd be like, you know what, you're right. Like it's not even mm -hmm. what I thought it was. This is the, the main issue. Yep. And, and then, then we can deal with that. Yeah. Instead of dealing yeah. with all this fruit stuff, and now mm. I'm mad, you right. mad, we can't have sex because, you oh, know. And then it just, it's just, it's it everything. Just yeah. 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 And then yeah. the war begins. Yeah. 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 You know? I think that's, we've been doing spiritual integration work, which is really an interesting modality for healing. But like, the thing that we do in there is like, we go towards the thing you fear. Like, mm -hmm. you go towards the thing that you're I trying to like, that. keep mm -hmm. quiet in a closet, mm -hmm. and it's really been helpful. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm thinking that. in terms of fighting, a lot of times, like, why we can't fight fair is because we're, we're tiptoeing around all these elephants in the room, all these right. fears, all these That's insecurities, because we don't feel, we don't feel like we can be vulnerable. Maybe we're yeah. scared to go right there. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's like, in our, in our work with um, our therapist, it's like, go right to the thing. What are you most scared about? And then, like, blowing it up, and then you realize, like, it's almost like Alice in Wonderland mm -hmm. or whatever, and it's like, oh, it's just a little person back there. Like, yeah, it's not, right. you know, I find, yeah. like, I feel like that bonds us, right? Yeah. More. Oh, yes. yes, And it helps does. me. You know mm -hmm. what it is, too? We were talking about inner child stuff earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like doing that work has allowed me to see, like, the younger versions of him yeah. in him. Mm -hmm. So when they show up, I almost see them in a fight. And, like, when you think about it like that, it allows you to have more tenderness, yeah. more compassion, because mm -hmm. yeah. he's just mm -hmm. 11, or he's just, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you don't want to stomp him down. So it's yeah. like, okay, let me explain it like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder, we've been talking about fighting fair. Um, and I was listening to Esther Perel. Do you guys know Esther Perel? Yes. She's one of yeah. my, I love listening I love to her, her talk about uh, love and long-term partnership. Mm -hmm. And she was saying like over her, she does a lot of research on couples and how we stay together for long periods of times in this modern context of we have all of these, we've never expected more out of partners than yeah. now. Absolutely. It used to be just like, That's real. we're Absol together, pay a dowry vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's not die together, you know, <laughs> let's protect yeah. each other. Now it's like, I want you to fulfill my emotional needs and understand me and yeah. mm -hmm. validate my passions and all these other things. And she said that more than even having communication, a couple needs the ability to repair. Yeah. So I was wondering for wow. you guys, when you do get into an unfair fight, like how do you repair? Mm -hmm. I think for us, <laughs> he's like, I heard the how do you like... repair? Well, because it's interesting because um, like, again, the healing that I want in our marriage comes from me, right? I have to be the healer that I want our marriage to have. I can't expect Kwaku to repair everything that I have an eye for. He has a blind spot on a lot of things in marriage, and I do too. Mm -hmm. So it's my responsibility in the relationship to expect what I offer. I think instead wow. of expecting him to rescue wow. the entire marriage. As a leader, he's, I feel like he's really great at um, stepping forward where he realizes she is not gonna say, she either knows how and will not, <laughs> <laughs> or she just doesn't have that. Um, but he covers me in a way that allows me to wanna cover him too. So there's not one responsibility on one person to repair everything. And I think a lot of times in marriage, people come in and they just want to lean back and just rest. Yeah. Right? Because mm -hmm. you, you found a safe space. And, and most women, I will say, have not had that type of safety mm -hmm. where they feel like this is a person I can lean and land into. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you get in marriage and you just want to lean and land in, but there's labor that has to happen, right? It's like yeah. constant labor. And it's not a, it's not like, you know, it's not a labor where there's no return, but there are investments. Yeah. So I feel like when you invest in, in trusting and covering your partner, when it comes time to repair, it's not as hard because you've already covered one another. I learned to, over the course of all these years, <laughs> take the time to trust him um, when we make mistake, when if, if there's a mistake he made, I know he doesn't mean any harm. Mm -hmm. right. He just made a human mistake mm -hmm. versus in a relationship where I think he's out to harm me. That's a different level of repair, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this human doesn't mean any harm for me. There were just mistakes. I don't mean any harm towards him. We just make human mistakes. We say dumb things. We are reckless sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we don't mean to harm who we are, who, who the other person is. So repair comes a little easier because I know his intent is good. And mm. I trust that. Yeah. And yeah. it gives me the space to like cover him. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? I mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, it's I, I've, I've had to develop over the years a few things in being married so long. And it's one, I don't enter into any like interaction with her with any expectation. Mm. I have completely divorced how do you, expectations. How? Please teach me how you do I'm that. Well, well, I'm like, I know, right? Well, somebody I'm... taught it to me a long time ago. <laughs> they like... said, if you if you notice, every time you've been disappointed, it's been because of a wrong expectation. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. never been disappointed in a place. If I don't have expectation, then I'm pleasantly surprised by whatever happens. Mm. So he taught it to me, and it was very difficult over the years to kind of develop it, but I don't expect anything out of her, period. Period. And it sounds weird. It does, yeah. But I don't. I, 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 I was like, huh? Because I expect a lot. I'm like, I'm sorry. And that's, and that's OK for you. But I'm literally yeah. walking, I walk into every interaction with her not expecting anything. So be wow. expecting. Not expecting a thing. Being present. But, yeah. and, and it's, it's, but I, I, it's not that I've, I've, it's not that there's a void there, but I replace it with appreciation. So now I can look at little things. Like if she's saying, it, like, I think it was, it was, might have been a couple days ago. She doesn't even know this, but she, the way she spoke to me, it had an attitude on it. Now, I don't know if it was for me or for anybody else, but in that moment, I had a decision to make, like, yeah. okay. And I, what I leaned in on was another concept called high, I do highest positive intent. What's her highest positive intent? Mm. Right now, is it for her to be snappy with me or is there something else? Like you were talking about, is there yeah. something else? Yeah. What's the real thing here? Yeah. yeah. So it's not the snap at me. So if I, I don't even want to respond to it. So you, I just let it go. You're not taking it personally and no, internalizing yeah. it. It's not That's personal smart. at all. I don't know. At that point, she's I'm like, those battles. I don't know yeah. what she's got going on during the day. I don't know. Yeah. But later on, I'll check with her and be like, you good? Everything OK? He'll text me. Yeah, I'll be like, you good? <laughs> yeah, text me. Right. He literally will text me. And I'll be like, why do you ask? Yeah. Speaking yeah. of text yeah. messages, yeah. Yeah. Right. do you have any thought, final thoughts on fighting uh, the repair? How do you come back? Um, you got to deal with that foundation. Yeah. If you build a house on a bad foundation, yeah. mm -hmm. you build a beautiful house on top of it, it's still yeah. gonna fall apart. Yeah. I think letting each other do that foundational work yeah. is so vital. Mm -hmm. It is. And then yeah. allowing for two hill people to come in and kind of rebuild that foundation is, is so important. Giving each other the grace and compassion needed to do it. It's real. Because mm -hmm. I mean, like she mentioned, she had this idea of what she thought marriage was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we first got married, I used to always tell, I was like, I'm gonna pop that happy bubble because it ain't yeah. happy. He's like, it's not real. And I was like, it's real. real in my life. Like, like it's what? real in my head and it's supposed to be like this and this. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, none of that's well, real. Well, it's real is subjective. Right. Yeah. Right. No, it's real. That's real. real. <laughs> but I have found, and my motto is like, I'm just gonna keep showing up to my marriage. Like, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna keep showing up and taking mm -hmm. it one day at a time. I agree with and that. And I found that it's gotten better and it's gotten sweeter in everything, mm -hmm. every single season. Even when you go through hard storms, the rain doesn't last always. Like, the sun's gonna come back out. Oh, come on, Poetry. Right? Right? Come on, R&B so, music. Right? Yeah. So I've just felt like, as long as I keep showing up yes. and I'm believing the best and I take it one day at a time, I find that, like, it's repairing and it's getting better mm -hmm. and it's getting better. And I'm not even staring at the wound and I'm not wondering like, when is this gonna get better? When is this gonna change? Right. I'm like, I'm just gonna keep showing up and believing the best and working on myself. And I find that we are just getting better and better. And I'm looking up, I'm like, wait, we can old together. Hold on. And, uh, and, and, and our foundation has been so <laughs> broken, like to give people hope, it's been so broken that for real. we thought it was beyond repair. For real. We, mm -hmm. we were both, yeah. we both had filed for, I mean, not filed, but we, we had file, both yeah. talked about divorce, getting yeah. ready to file. So, yeah. I mean, we were like, we if did. it could help us, like, yo, if you, if you out there, you're yeah. listening, you're like, man, 
I don't know if it can be fixed. It can yeah, be. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, sure. It really can, it can be. be. But when do we come up with this concept that relationships are the one place that we don't have to work? Like it's the most work. You wake up every day. You go to a job. Work. You work very hard so come that you on. can yeah. achieve. You your physical body. You you know what I mean. You go to the gym. You work very hard, and you don't expect that day one it's going to be perfect. Right. Yeah. You know that it's going to be a progression, and some days yeah. aren't going to feel so great. And yeah, so, that's right. But I don't know where we get this notion that, mm-hmm. oh, but when I get home in my relationship, I can take everything off and relax mm-hmm. and just, I can just give her the worst part of me. And don't forget when you mm-hmm. add in children. We have a 14-year-old son, 11-year-old daughter. Those are two new personalities in our <laughs> marriage, right? You have three mm-hmm. children. We know. So all the dynamics of your entire relationship change when you start to layer in children yes. and their mm-hmm. expectations and, and, and their, their opinions about your marriage or the way things should be, and then your hopes for what you offer them. It's a whole other mm-hmm. mound of responsibility. Nothing that you want to give away, but stuff that you're fighting toward, the legacy part of it becomes even bigger because mm-hmm. you're like, geez, I need to put a steady, a solid blueprint in front of, our, you know, in front of your children. But we came yeah. to the point like they are going to go to therapy for something. Perhaps it's something we do or say in our marriage that yeah. everybody gonna have some They're type of. We, yeah. we, we'll foot that first. My year parents hug me too much. Right, right. It could be. There, there you go. Talk about it with your therapist because this is not gonna be a blueprint. And we tell them all the time. We don't know what we're doing. We literally are living out every day of this yep. marriage, day by day. We're Seriously. figuring it out. We never had a fourteen. We never had an eleven-year-old. We've never been married this long. All of this is an experiment. And so, bear with us. Yeah. So it sounds yeah. like growing up yeah. together. Fights will happen. To, yeah, yes. to even uh, speak on that point too, uh, I think uh, repairing in front of children too yes. is very important, Great right? Point. Yes. The way, that, like, point. even in that dan- dynamic, for children to see you fight, you know, might even if you don't fight fair, but to be able to return, if you don't fight fair in front of them, to yeah. be able to also return and like, you know, repair your situation yeah. in front of them. He, he yeah. makes sure he will yeah. apologize in front of them. If like, if we have a yeah. disagreement. He will say like, you know, he will make sure to deliver the apology so they can see it modeled. Like, uh, it's okay, fights happen. They're a part of right. life, but it's about yeah. the, how do we repair that fight? How do yeah. we keep yeah. moving yeah. forward? Yeah. Like what you said, like man, it's, they, they, don't, they don't teach you. You, you don't know, I'm sorry, honey. Uh, that, that you don't have a blueprint to none of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so even in our relationship, earlier coming into a relationship, I never knew that even doing self-development work was a thing. <laughs> I worked on everything, right. my mind, body, you it's know real. what I'm saying? Like it's real. Uh, financially, all this other stuff, but they never tell you, like, yo, you got to do inner work. I'm like, what is that? What do you mean, like, <laughs> what does that mean? And women, we what? do this all the time. We're always on our inner work, right? Like, we, yeah. we're, See what I'm yeah. What happened? It's a thing with women. <laughs> like we are. I think. I think. I think it's a thing where you know y'all. Y'all think you're doing. Oh, you know, it's hilarious. Right. I love it. I think women. I just have a conversation. Wait, I let it slide the first time. <laughs> I think women are always having emotion, uh, emotional experiences, okay. even uh, if they don't recognize people. it. I think people, people, people in general. People? But okay. I think like. Women, you know, they cool connected to their feminine. Ooh, I think they are. More everybody in tune have masculine with, like, and feminine, so what are we talking about? Oh, it's not. Hold on, it's not saying that one dynamic doesn't have one of the other. It's oh, not yeah. saying it's not opposing. What I'm saying is that, like, naturally, a, 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 a woman is in touch with her feminine side, right? Man would lead yeah. with masculine because of what society and people tell us masculinity mm-hmm. should be mm-hmm. like, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And not I'll be you, you, took that you took that age. You took that age. Yeah. You took that age. You took that age. You took that age. She was ready. She was so ready, though. Yeah, right. She was yeah, like, well, right. we're not going to move. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Clearly, as you can yeah. see, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but think that, was like, a fight. that was a fair fight. That was yeah. a fair fight. Yeah. 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 I feel like what I heard from everybody today was, like, fights are going to happen. Mm-hmm. There, We yeah. expect them to be a part of long-term partnership. Mm-hmm. But it is about having a, a foundation so that you know during the fight this isn't the last fight. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. We can figure out how to come together. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. I feel like I learned yeah. so much from yeah. all of you. Thank you for Thank sharing you. your stories. Yes. Yes. And anything else? Do you have any final words? Anything? Uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm so grateful like to just learn from you guys, to continue to learn because, again, I've always wanted to create these spaces to be around, to learn from people because we are in... Uh, in the world and come from a world to where like, you know, marriage wasn't per se propped up. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think just to be able to have, uh, you know, 
conversations with couples who've been really in the thick of it, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Who's really showing up for each other, showing up for themselves, showing up for their kids, and can have open yeah. and honest conversations. I think yeah. the world needs it, right? Yeah. Vulnerability yeah. and authenticity, dog. Yeah. Yes, you know brother. What I'm saying? Talk yeah. to him, yeah. talk to him. Yeah. 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 Sure. We're all tapped in, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, I'm super grateful, and I appreciate y'all yes. oh, yeah, for the knowledge. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.